I love it when Makeup by Mario drops a brand new product and we've got the Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil. Yes, you heard me. That is a name all in itself. This is something I'm excited for because I absolutely love, like it's a ride or die for me, his original Soft Pop Cream Blush in the stick. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's this one right here. This color in the shade Pale Petal. I'll swatch it for you guys. This clearly has been used. I love this blush like that is my favorite in the collection it's just so pretty and now he made it available in this compact form which is super amazing because I can totally take out the whole you know adding the brush to the back of my hand warming up that product this is a more sheer product and I can just tap that brush right in there so I'm excited for this like you have no idea like this is amazing so what I love about the Soft Pop original in the stick form is that one side has the built-in brush so you can blend that out. Now obviously in the pan here, you have to buy a brush separately. I am gonna go in with just regular brushes because I'm sure you guys don't have his particular brushes. You might because they are our iconic, but today we're just gonna go in with some random brushes. So the brushes I'm gonna be using are the Merit brush, which I super, super love. You guys know I rave about this all of the time. If you do not have this by now, I have it linked in the description. Pick it up. You're going to love it. You're going to thank me for it because it's that amazing. Something comparable to this is this It Cosmetics Heavenly Skin Brush. This is a little bit softer but still dense and that's going to really dip into the product. And then we're going to apply it and it's just going to buff it out beautifully. And that's what we want. So if you guys have a brush that is similar to this, then grab that and play along with me. The line has six shades in the collection. I happened to pick up two of them, so I've got them right here. So this is the shade Pinch Me Pink, which is a pale pink. Absolutely love that. It's very similar to this one right here, which is Pale Petal. It, this one's clearly darker and more opaque when this one's definitely more sheer, but I gravitate to this one. Super love this color. And this one is called Barely Blushing, which is just like a natural fluid blush. And I'm going to swatch them for you guys so you guys can see it. Alright, so that's really, really pretty. Again, super sheer and buildable. So I'm going to grab my It Cosmetics blush brush. I'm going to tap into this pale pink. Pinch me pink. Alright, the name is iconic. I love that. So I'm just going to start by applying this right to my cheek. And just kind of tapping it out. I'm not really swirling it too, too much. Okay, that color is everything. Like, that is giving me vibes. So I'm just tapping this color on. What I love about this is that there's no scent to it whatsoever, and it's completely foolproof. Like, like it just blends out so amazingly. I'm just taking my middle finger here and blending this out just on the edges. Now, you can go in with the other side of your brush brush where you have nothing there and just take that edge, the clean edge, and just blend out as well. I mean, the sheen is just everything. You're, it's giving me glow, it's giving me life. It's a complete vibe. I've got nothing on this side. Blushed. Am I right? Like, that's beautiful. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the finish on this because this is stunning. Like, absolutely stunning. Moving on, I'm gonna show you a different method on how to apply this. So I'm gonna go in with my ring finger. We're gonna go into Barely Blushing, which is a beautiful pale, pale, neutral, natural kind of blushed color. And I'm just going to apply three dots to the cheek. All right, that is pretty. Like the color is stunning. I've got my brush right here. And we're just going to just buff that out. All right, that is a very natural looking blush. If you guys are looking for something for bridal, everyday, no makeup makeup, that is pretty. Now, honestly, between the two methods, I actually prefer going into the pan with my brush and then swirling it onto my cheeks, just tapping that out. But I'm not mad at that. That is really, really pretty. It's very natural. It's a neutral vibe. I have very fair skin. If you have deep, deep skin, I don't know how well that one is going to show up on you, but right now, living for this. Like, this is pretty. I do, however, prefer the iconic pink moment that's happening here with the Pinch Me Pink. That one I really, really love. They're both very sheer. He does recommend that you can go in with his powder blush and apply this on top just to kind of give it a little bit more oomph, you know, just give it a little zhuzh. But 
if you're wearing this alone, it does feel a little tacky, I'm not going to lie to you. There's no scent, but I don't love the whole tacky vibe. I'm going to powder this and see how this looks after I've powdered it because this is a cream product and I don't want it to be tacky like that. So I've got my powder puff right here. This is my one size by Patrick Star powder puff. Love this powder puff because of the straight angle on it. I'm just going to apply a little bit of powder over top of this product. This is giving me vibes. Like I still look blushed. I still get that dewy coming through the powder again. Just a beautiful light. I used the Laura Mercier blurring powder, but I didn't actually tap in. It was just what was left from my whole makeup routine. But this, this is nice. It's a little tacky still though. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't know how I feel about that. Less tacky clearly than the side that doesn't have powder, but not 100% my favorite. Probably my favorite would be this one right here. I would stick with the original. I'm not mad at the color though. Like the color, both colors are absolutely gorgeous. Now he has one that is like a cool toned berry that I'm excited to pick up and try because I want to play with that. But this, this is pretty. I do like this quite a bit and you can actually go in over top of your powder as well. So if you've already gone in, powdered your whole face and then you're like, you know what? I wanted to use that blush. This is totally fine. You can use that on top of your powder. And you're not going to have a problem. I used it on top of powder today, but this is really pretty. I like this. Now, would I recommend it to you? Honestly, it's been an entire month of blushes. Like basically all of my videos have been blushes, not on purpose. It just is the way the industry has, you know, set up stuff to launch. But this one, I love me some makeup by Mario. I'm not living for this right now, so I'm not, I'm not gonna recommend it to you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have picked this up, if you like it, do you find it's a little tacky? Do you guys like the tacky? Because I know the Say blush also was a little tacky. That I'm not into the tacky blush. Like I like it to be like dried, right? Humidity. It's all about the humidity for me. If you guys loved this video and found it helpful, definitely hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss when I drop a new video. There are so many new launches. I'm excited for them and you don't want to miss it. All right, guys, until next time, live, love, and lip glass. Oh, and if you want to see a really amazing blush video, check it out right there. The brand new Fenty. It's amazing.